Those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. This is Success with Srini. Welcome or welcome back to Success with Srini. Happy Monday morning to you. Start of a new week, a fresh week. So as I was recording this morning, I was thinking, you know, what can I say today that's going to be so different, so unique that I have not said it at all on this podcast. I mean, you know, if you take a monologue podcast like this where the host that's me in this case only does this podcast and keeps doing it every day and we are now 8 months in and you do that daily without a break saturday sunday every day there comes a point where you run out of content really you really do like what do you have to say you wake up in the morning like every day i used to have this feeling in the first month second month like literally third month was like so so hard and then towards the end of third month it started becoming you know i started dialing in i'm um, finding myself in the zone and i was like okay maybe i have more in me so i kept on going but this feeling does come in occasionally into me and i'm like okay so what should i say today that's going to be unique and different because there are people there are people who are texting me messaging me telling me that are listening to the podcast i'm like Okay if I say something that's contrary to what I already told them then ah they may not uh, really like me but then there's something I want to share with you I was struggling with this this morning something I want to share with you listen you are listening to this podcast because you want to create success in life and success is something that cannot be defined people struggle to define what success is in your 20s success was I want to make money I want to build a career I will whatever all that was there in 30s it was about having building a family buying a house whatever in 40s 50s 60s now every 5 7 if you take a 7 year chunk not 5 7 7 to 10 year chunk your definition inwardly has changed even though you may not have said that externally to others but inwardly your definition has changed so i get this question occasionally a lot actually not occasionally a lot more frequently than i can i can imagine or you can imagine what can i do i'm doing a lot many things what can i do how do i get there what does it take do you know the secret the truth is this nobody knows the secret 100000 a million people like me do the exact same thing what i do and probably do better than what i'm doing still they cannot tell you the secret everybody can tell their perspective everybody can tell you what they think you should do but there is no absolute sure fire success formula that you pick up and it's going to work for you there isn't hence you have to create it the formula that works for me i could say it's a formula but then the same formula when given to you it may not be executed upon the same way that i have and it may completely operate in a whole different level the minute you step in so hand holding coaching all these things do play a big role and mitigate the risk of failure but then still you still have to put in so the question is this what can you do from your side to make a formula work for you whatever that formula is so here is what a good coach should do which is they understand you they understand your problems they understand what you're dealing with and make you only do that one thing that gets you to the outcome I've done that with my clients. People approach me, they tell me 100 different things. I listen. And then they're telling me most of the times people are talking to themselves. They're not talking to me. And then eventually when they figure out they have to talk to me, then I tell them, "Listen, you told me 30 different things. Which one do you want to focus on? What do you think is the most important thing that you need to do now in this moment you need to accomplish?" Usually it comes down to one or two things. I insist on one thing and then I keep working with them till I get them to accomplish that one thing that's it So here is my message to you on the podcast today I want you to do one thing just one thing Don't worry about a zillion things that are happening in your life I know that it's happening in my life also and every time you start giving your attention to 20 things you end up doing nothing simple so just focus on one thing focus on money relationships 
finances, career, business, job, multiple jobs, whatever it is, just focus on one thing. Just one thing. Here is what I want you to do. And you see the science behind this one thing. The one thing is obviously you'll get rid of distractions. But the one thing is not only raises your productivity, not only gets you focused, not only gets you to get to the outcome, but it does something else. It creates an a heightened sense of self-esteem which is essential to any level of success. See, it's the confidence, it's the self-esteem that's stopping you from achieving whatever you want to achieve. Of course, skills, talents, all focus, all these things are important and we have been talking about it and they do play a role. But then the self-esteem is the biggest and the biggest thing that people overlook. They don't understand this. I'll give you an example. Let's say you are, you are looking to change a job and you know you can get a better job. You know getting a better job means more money, means more you can do for your children, for your family, means more autonomy, let's say, or more freedom or more power. But that one thing demands that you apply. The reason why you don't apply is because either you are scared of interviews, aka you still need to prepare yourself for interview, or you're too good, you don't have time, but hence you haven't written your resume. Simple. So comes down to you not having a resume. Let's take that as, a, as an example for a second. What does it take for you to get your dream job and get to that position where you have the money and you have all the time for your family and do some bigger things that you're not able to do today? See, if you take 30 minutes a day or an hour a day and simply work on your resume, just work on your resume every day. You schedule a time. Wake up in the morning. You say, I'm going to wake up in the morning. The first thing I'm going to do is to work on my resume. So you open your resume and you look at the resume on the screen. And for the one hour, you simply look at the resume. You don't know what to do. Just look at the resume. Okay. It's painful when you start. It's stupid when you start. But then you look at the resume. I want to change the resume. I don't know how to write English. I don't know how to put words together. But I scheduled myself. Srini told me to do it. So here I am looking at my resume and I don't know how long I have to do this on a daily basis, but I'm here. Okay, I need to change something. If you simply look at your resume and you are scheduled to look, look at your resume for an hour, there is not even a possibility that you're not going to modify something. In that one hour, the chances are you look at some other resumes. Your mind will go like, what can I do to improve this? What are other people doing with their resumes? What can I model? Not copy. What can I model? And what are some changes, some nuances that I can bring in into this so I can make it look good? And the day one is going to be bad. Day two will be bad. But day three, day four, day five, it's going to kick in. Eventually, at the end of the 10th day, you're going to be like, wow, okay, I'm learning. Okay, I'm, I'm, this resume is looking good. I feel good about myself. See, you got to take the action, but you got to also take it consistently. I didn't say do, the, do it for 5 or 7 or 10 hours in a day. I said do it 1 hour a day for the next whatever number of days. See, action, frequency, then comes volume. So what is volume in, in case of a resume? So once you have a resume going, obviously you now have to tweak your profile. You have to tweak maybe your LinkedIn profile or maybe your Indeed, whatever. I don't know. And then at some point you may come back and say, I'm going to write a white paper or I'm going to write a publication. You start creating volume around this activity. Multiple different things that you do to really kind of brings your, you know, amplifies your, your identity. And then the next phase to this is to scale. So now you're competing. You remove that single biggest obstacle in your mind, which is your resume that was not good. And now you have taken the leap. You feel good. Interviews are happening. You'll get, you're getting calls. So it proves that the resume is working. Right? Simple. As simple as that. Now, some people try to take shortcuts on this. They say, okay, I'm, not going, to, I'm, going, to, I'm going to hire a resume writer or somebody. Great. Do whatever you have to do. But I'm just telling you the actions 
that this one thing that you do is going to make a significant change and impact in your life. That's the point of the discussion today. Take that into weight loss, for example. Let's say running. What do you have to do? Wake up in the morning, run for a mile or five. If successful, go repeat that the next day. And repeat that the next day and do that for five, seven days. Okay, I'm running a mile a day for seven days. Now I want to run two miles. I want to increase that. So you keep on increasing and there comes a point when you start to to see, okay, I'm doing this daily. I'm doing it in the morning. Can I do it in the evening? Can I do it in the night? And then there comes a situation where you want to scale this. I want to go run a small, you know, small half marathon, a full marathon, a triathlon, whatever. And then, then there is volume. Now you're competing and there's volume. You see that? This is how it works. Only one thing. Don't do 20 different things while you are trying to run. Don't try to start a business. It doesn't work. It's you, you're one entity. It's this finite amount of energy you have, finite amount of time you have. And there is not much you can do with it other than doing just that one thing. And that one thing also you may not do properly. Study all the successful people. Study everybody, anybody. They did many things. I did many things. Eventually, eventually, they ended up doing just one thing. There's one thing made them, whoever they became. Some people went on to do the second thing, third thing, fourth thing, but their success was that one thing. Now, to arrive at that one thing, they have gone through a lot. Now, I'm not saying not to replicate yourself, not to scale yourself. So if you're having 10 or 15 things that you're doing, make sure you have systems in place. Make sure that you have leverage in those areas so that you can scale and be better. You're in this game because of freedom and autonomy. And every time you do something that's going to take away that, then I don't think you're growing. You don't have growth. You don't have growth. You don't have fulfillment. You don't have fulfillment. You don't have joy. You don't have happiness. What's the point of doing all this? So, as I close this, I hear people telling me I'm an expert in this, I'm an expert in that. An expert is not enough. Expertise is not enough. Okay? You need to have mastery. And mastery comes when you do that same thing over and over again and do it in scale, do it in volume, do it in competition, do it with yourself, do it when you're alone, do it when you're with people. And you really have to become good at it. You're re- you are the master. There are many experts. A master also has expertise. I'm not. But a master is an ex- has expertise at a whole different level. An expert is an expert. But mastery is something. Don't confuse experts to have mastery. Mastery is a whole different game altogether. Very rarely I have seen masters who well true masters disguise themselves very difficult to find them you see a lot of experts around and i'm an expert in this i'm an expert in that but usually they're still learning they're still you know it's different so if you find an expert in some area and then you find a master you'll see the contrast day and night difference (laughs) pursue the mastery Do whatever it takes. And I'll tell you, you can't achieve mastery unless you really make that one thing really, really is the single biggest thing of your life. That becomes your dominant thought. That becomes your dominant energy. That becomes your everything. If not, no. Okay, my idea was to start you off on this Monday in a proper way. Hopefully I've done it. Appreciate your questions that are coming in. I will take a few more questions over the next few days, but keep them coming. And if this podcast, today's podcast, this episode helps you, let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, there is a place for you to write a comment. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcasting app, you can write a comment there too. So that's all for now. And wish you a very happy Monday again. And I'll talk to you as early as tomorrow. Stay tuned.